What's up guys, it's Cody Goggin from Rage Cage Sports here. I'm going to be bringing you guys another segment of my MLB discussions. So this year the manager, National League Manager of the Year race seems pretty close. Don Mattingly's not really on there, but there's a chance he could win it. Uh, Joe Madden has been the name like most people are going for, saying he's brought this young team to exceed expectations. That they weren't projected to do a whole lot this year, maybe in the future, but they've done more than what they're supposed to. Um, Mike Matheny of the Cardinals, he's been named a lot because the Cardinals have been decimated by injuries, and even though they were, they had really high expectations heading into the season, they've rebounded from so many losses that it's really impressive. Um, but I'm here to tell you that I think Terry Collins should be the National League Manager of the Year. Now the Mets have both overcome a whole bunch of injuries and taken some young talent and exceed expectations. Uh, before the start of the season, the Mets were not picked to finish first by any of the 15 ESPN experts and because the Nationals were picked to destroy everyone this year and that hasn't happened. But yeah, so none of the ESPN guys picked them. Their Vegas odds at the start of the year were 79 wins. And then in an article written in early April by ESPN, they projected the Mets at 84 wins, which is respectable, but not compared to what they're doing right now. They're having a great season. Hold on. So, yeah, the first big blow of the year came when they lost Zach Wheeler back in March to Tommy John surgery. That he was a guy that put up 185 innings pitch for him last year with 187 strikeouts combining for like racking up 11 wins over the course of the season that's huge he was I'm not gonna say he was their ace last year because both Bartolo and Jacob DeGrom pitched really well but Zach Wheeler was a vital part of that rotation when you lose a guy like that who's still promising young talent that's huge he was supposed to be one of their top contributors this year they also lost uh, Henry Mejia who's supposed to be their closer his hasn't been just injuries he was injured back in April and put on the 15-day DL and then it served two suspensions for PED usage. But still, losing your closer who had 28 saves a season ago, that's, that's big too. That hurts the bullpen. Uh, Michael Kadire, who was supposed to come over and do big things for the Mets, signed a $21 million contract uh, during the offseason. He's, pl- he's been limited to just 98 games this year and is batting 261, which is really low considering he's batted over, 300, batted over 330 for the past two seasons in a row. Uh, another guy that he hasn't been off the field the whole season, but he struggled in parts of the season, and he's been hurt a little bit. It was Lucas Duda. He's been limited to 113 games and had 30 home runs last year. So that's 30 home runs in your line for missing out on, which he's rebounded and helped the team a lot in their stretch run. Their starting catcher coming into the year is supposed to be Travis Darno. Their starting catcher has been limited to 40 games. That's nothing. The fact that Kevin Ploiecki has been their catcher for most of the year is really sad. Because Travis Darno is another good young talent. I believe he finished top 10 rookie of the year voting last year. and So it's kind of sad to see that he's only been limited to 40 games. But the Mets are still in it. Uh, Daniel Murphy, who he was an all-star a year ago. He, he landed on the DL for a couple weeks. He was a starting second baseman for the Mets this year. He landed on the DL for a couple weeks and missed out. And the big one was David Wright, the Mets captain. They're 12... Yeah, they're seven-time All-Star. It's limited to 12 games this year. That's huge. He's supposed to be their number three hitter. So they've lost this year. They've had injuries to the first baseman, second baseman, third baseman, their right fielder, one of their aces, their closer. Like, that's a lot to overcome. And as we stand today, they're 71-58, and 58, five and a half games up. Grand, the Mets made some big moves to pick up guys like Tyler Clippard and Yoana Cespedes. But nothing huge. I mean, they also acquired uh, Juan Uribe and Kelly Johnson. But what they're doing now is incredible, considering the injuries they've overcome this year, their expectations coming into the year, and just how they've got how they've kept battling through all this, from Wilmer Flores being on tears in the field to hitting a walk-off home run a couple days later. Like it's a story the Mets have had this year, and I expect them to keep winning, win the division, and maybe win in the playoffs as well. So, well, I think Terry Collins deserves to be uh, National League Manager of the Year because 
you know, how well he's overcome everything. So, it's Cody Gagan, Rage Cage Sports. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching, and like our page.